even in the land of the rising sun, Donald Duck gets games that honestly just stay there. It's kind of a shame, because this one's actually pretty cute. Look at Daisy just strutting hey, Daisy. up. Smack him. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a mighty fine suit, sailor. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our little look at on Donald Duck, Maho no Boshi, or as it's translated, thanks to this little um, wrong, wrong translation I got, Donald Duck and the Magical Hat for the Super Famicom slash Super Nintendo. Huh. Oh, so this is a ROM hack? Uh, yeah. One that actually gives English subtitles. So here's our story. Donald is head over heels for Daisy. Oh, we've heard this story before. Donald just goes, mm. Today they went shopping together. <laughs> Ooh, a hat. Uh, I guess we... Alright. All right. Okay. Wow, what lovely hats. I would love one. Let's see. Do I have your daughters? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's expensive. Yes, it is. Yes, it is very expensive. The middle one is just beautiful. Figures. <laughs> but there's no way I could afford oh, it. Uh, 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 oh, I, mean, I think that might have been Donald. Never mind. Uh, uh, no, 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 oh no, it was her. Yeah. Okay, let's go, Donald. It... They're both broke ducks. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Come to think of it. What's that? Okay, I'll do a different voice. Daisy's birthday is coming up soon. Either that, or either that, or you could just play the voice that they gave him in the show. I'm sure she'd be happy to receive this hat as a present. <laughs> also. So basically, you want me to be Don Cheadle? Yes. But I haven't got a dime. Yes, this happened canonically. I've got it. Wait, seriously? In the reboot. Yes. Mm -hmm. In DuckTales yeah. reboot. Oh. Yeah, in the reboot. We'll just to give a bit of context, um, Gyro made this invention that pretty much... It's it's pretty much it, a vocal now. translator. He fed it to Donald, and it changed his Not voice from the typical... <laughs> To War Machine. Oh. Huh. Because because he yeah. asked everybody, can you understand what he's saying? Eh, every other word. Eh, I kind of do context clues. Nope, never understood a word he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't that an awful shame? But um, with that said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's gimmick. based on the short where uh, uh, where he, or he meets a, gets he a new voice a, from he the pill. Well -spoken yeah, I'm pretty sure that's some it. houses as soon as possible. I'll be all night before you fly if you deliver by foot. <laughs> so I want you to use this bike. And Donald's just thinking to himself, Man, I can't understand Press what this thing's saying. To I'm just saying, I'm going to broken voice. And notice is the same for everyone. But you must deliver every last one. <laughs> Never mind the lack I of space. Can't pay you <laughs> if you don't deliver all. And, <laughs> and this reminds me of a good time. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, oh, wow. like, are you almost done? Are you almost done chewing that gum? They live in air balloons. There's the thing. It's basically, honestly, first off, that 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 little uh, presentation when they're selecting a uh, a little like odd job to do reminded me of the Three Stooges game a long time ago. Oh God, that thing. Hey guys, just hooked up. Just hooked up Donald's Japanese voice. Really? Yeah. <gasps> oh, jeez. He, he's pretty much the Japanese dub voice for uh, Jim Carrey and Eddie Murphy. Really? Huh. really? So, uh -huh. it, whenever there's a, so whenever there's a project that has Jim Carrey or Eddie Murphy in it that needs someone to redub it, like in a live-action movie, it'll be Donald's Japanese voice actor. Uh-huh. Interesting. <laughs> Not only that, Logan, but he was Kenshiro in Fist of the Blue Sky. See, that is... Wow. Can you see that see from Fist of the North? Yeah, it, it, it's Fist like a, of the Blue Sky, actually. Which is not Fist of the North Star; it's some other thing. Was it a parody or something? Oops. Something like that. So, so Donald's task to get a hat for Daisy is delivering papers. Yeah, he's trying to get money. Yeah. Right. He's going. He's taking on all these part-time jobs to get uh, get enough money to buy her that hat. Yeah. And one of those part-time jobs is um. Pretty much being a delivery boy. Whoop. And as you're noticing, yes, the map loops. Uh, yeah, I was about to ask. There is no time limit, thankfully, and well, there is there is only a set amount of lit um of um new, or, excuse me mailbox that you have to send letters to. Only thing you have to worry about is the fact that you're pretty much running. It's pretty much an auto. Whoa! It runs, runs automatically, Whoa. and well, there are some uh, mailboxes. There's some you actually have to send some of those deliveries to those books up there. Or those and yeah, my bad. And, and yeah, you cannot turn. No, you cannot turn. Found another one. What is that? He was the Japanese voice for Lugia in Pokemon 2000. 
Huh. Huh. See that? See that's why I kind of that's why I am kind of envious of some Japanese seiyus is that they can play so many different things. Oh yeah. Like like they can and they get to play so many more. I feel like they get more opportunities than people over here because like there's no way you could see Matt Mercer playing a I forget you could no way you could see a Matt <laughs> Mercer playing an Eddie Murphy. It's going to be Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Look at it this way. This VA VA must feel rather proud of himself. He's the only Donald Duck actor that can literally say, "God damn it." Yeah. <laughs> like that, uh... And it would totally be in line with <laughs> with Donald's character. So. So yeah, <laughs> after you after you're done, with... <laughs> yeah. With the password system, is you got to select two characters and two locales, and that's when the game will pretty much load up what. Whatever you need, whatever you need it to say it. So, um, it, it was, it oh yeah, pay no mind to the fact that the, that this song is literally comprised of quacks. Mm. Uh, I have it turned down low, so, so I can't hear it. Oh, okay, oh, and go silly. This is a grandma duck. Donald, my beloved Pippi, escaped from her cage. I what? heard that Pete had caught her. Why? <laughs> so I went over to his house. Why would he? Because Pete's a dick. That's bully. why. Goodness gracious, you sound like you're about to have a heart attack, my grandma. There's no way I'm giving back such a cute bird. So he submits it. <laughs> I'll raise it with my love, with the love it deserves. So leave it to me. What? Please, Donald, give me back my beloved Pippi. And she just dies in the middle of it. If I'm not mistaken, Grandma Duck is honestly one of those characters you rarely ever see. Like, I think she only appears several times in, like, the Carl... Bark's heart comics, and that's about it. <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Butch. Oh, Apparently, Pete right. has a dog. Hey, Butch. Have you seen, just seen that Wait a group. minute. <laughs> a bulldog named Butch. MGM would like a word with you. Living with a cat. Mass hysteria. So, my cat. Oh, so, oh, this, Wait, so what? what we're about to partake in is a, there, literally a stealth mission where we gotta go save, uh, save Grandma Duck's bird. Bird. A bird owning a bird. Bird. So, James, how did you find this game in the first place? It's honestly a game I hear about every once in a while. Like, I know it was, it was published in Japan by Epoch, and, well, it's one of those... It's one of those weird cases where it honestly... <laughs> the first third of the game tricks you into what the game is actually supposed to be. Okay, so this whole odd job... Like, this whole thing we're doing of just doing odd jobs for the sake of getting money to buy Daisy a new hat, that's only the first third of the game. We're... Okay. I love how whenever there's, like, something that'll make noise, the way Donald gets it to turn off is he literally just goes, shh, which just, makes more noise. <laughs> he just shushes it. You don't need to go tiptoeing. You can just literally hold the run button to get a move on. If you want to, the only thing you have to worry about is if anything looks like it's something something is about to start making noise. You just gotta press the A button to shush it, even if it's like a radio or say a bunch of furniture that's about to topple over. Shh! Stop with the force I of said, <gasps> shush. And, and you know, you know what? This would totally happen in a car, in a in a cartoon from the day. I just yeah. I really do imagine like a toppling furniture and just shh and just writes itself back up. I love oh, that. Oh yeah, this this is a dickheaded thing. If you act if that if you pop that toaster, that's it. The dog's immediately gonna notice and that's considered a life loss. Uh, There's the but bird. But look at that! We shaved the birdie! But we also woke up the dog. Uh -oh. Oops. <gasps> so Get him, Butch! Run! It was at this moment that he knew. Donald was fucked. It was that <laughs> moment that Donald knew he fucked. He fucked Run. up. Quack, quack, He's breaking quack, the door. Quack 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 quack. <laughs> Rest assured though, this is automated. We actually did beat the level. Oh, That's good. Ah. Yay! This is very smooth. Wait, the Super Famicom, wasn't that basically like the Super Nintendo? Yeah. yeah. This is really well. It was Daisy who killed Pluto in the hill with a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, it was so like, sorry, Clue. I just, sorry, it was Clue. I, I love that. Anyway, uh, but no, like, this is like really smoothly animated for Super Nintendo anything. And are we going to see what the actual true third of this game is about? Oh no, like, this is pretty much oh. just gonna be a look at. I like, wanna put you on this building. Yeah. But there's just one problem. There's just one problem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you do agree, I don't care. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have so many people that said they're coming that weird. 
Honestly, now that I look at this guy, he looks like he, he looks like Baloo in the Disney verse. He does, kind of. Well, you might you might want to clarify because there's technically the there's another Baloo, Baloo in the, the Disney not verse. The, not the Jungle Book Baloo. Right? No, no. The, Which the Baloo? Klonoa, Baloo. The, the guy He's who talking was building about the tower. Who was building the tower? Oh. Honestly, he shares he shares the exact same fur colors too. He does, and the same kind of mustache or bushy eyebrows. So it's time to be time to clean. Ooh, Woo! Huh, time to free. clean some windows. Yeah. So, how does it look to you guys? Squeegee, squeegee. Hmm. Oh yeah, pay no mind to the fact that Minnie and Minnie are literally holding this building building in pe together. Oh, the little uh. statuettes. Oh yeah, the other little statues. That's cute. <laughs> um, also, also oh, don't mind jerk. the fact that Babs is literally one of the tenants <laughs> trying to kill us. That is Babs. Yeah, it's a pink rabbit. It's Babs. Gotta be. Oh, the fucking Babs! But is that? But mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. It almost looks like he was just. It almost looks like he's just cleaning with his hat or his shirt or something. And yeah, it looks like I he's just cleaning his with shirt. his sleeves. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, elevator. Oh, that's hey. cool. That's good. You already cleaned that window. No, it just was clean to begin with. Hey. Just making sure. You always gotta check. You always gotta check twice <laughs> for all the grime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was using the sleeve there. I mean, it must be a really clean sleeve. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Okay. But, <laughs> but to answer the but to answer the question that was previously posted, um, I will admit it looks nice. Like, for a Super Nintendo game, it looks very well sprited. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hi, oh, hey. guys. <laughs> that was nice. Go ahead. But like I said, um, I do think that the animations for it do look nice for this game, and it looks very homes wholesome enough. However, because of the mundanity, it looks it's clearly not a game that's worth anyone's time, right, Allie? <laughs> Shush. Like I said, the first third of the game tricks you. Like, after this, it honestly just goes borderline magical quest with its whole plot. So can you give us any sort of like like sneak <laughs> peek as to like what we can expect at like what the gameplay kinda of becomes? Is it still odd jobs? Is it full on action it, platformer? It's a full on or? action platformer after this point. Huh. Hmm. But the odd jobs are basically just, like, again, the first third. They make you think, it, like, the game's just gonna be this way, but no. It actually just becomes something completely different. And, I mean, for what it's worth, it isn't... It's not bad by any stretch. Well, okay. I shouldn't be saying it like that, because I do have some gripes with this game. Like, for example, the platforming could be a little better. I mean, they're fine. I mean, Ooh. they're not too bad for these yeah. odd jobs sections, but for, like, the parts of the game where they expect you to do some more proper platforming, it can come off as a little... Floating. Sluggish. I, I was oh, gonna, floaty, okay. Now, yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. I noticed that whenever Donald Ooh. moves, it's Ooh. whenever Donald moves, it's almost like there's kind of like it's a bit slow and like it kind of you have to build up speed before you can actually like make any good horizontal jumps. Honestly, it's almost yeah. as bad as like say the bomb games where you have a pretty e evident delay in your jump. Ouch. Mm -hmm. More windows. Is that the last one? No. No, no there's three more. See the counter more. up there. And this is where they throw in a rather odd curveball to get in the way. No, I'm not talking about Babs. I'm talking about this random dickhead. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Was, Whoa. That was, was that oh, Launchpad? No, I don't think it was Launchpad. I doubt it was Launchpad. I mean, honestly, my, maybe for all I know, it could have been Goofy. <laughs> I couldn't see anyone but, in that plane. Yeah, I'll try hey. again. Let me see next time he comes by. He hey, comes Donald, by I just got my pilot's license. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell yeah, who, that's what hard. that was. Yeah, oh, I look, tell. He was. What the? Did, did uh, anyone just uh, notice that Donald uh, was okay. kind of moonwalking? Well, no, because it was the, uh, the the wind force was that bad. Yeah. But there was wind. Yeah. <laughs> who broke wind? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, screw this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this a more convenient way. Just as soon as I know how. You could say he was Damn. doing the the uh, the duck walk. There you go. Or the moonwalk. Uh, yeah. I, 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 don't, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Cool, huh? It sounded funnier in my head. It's a duck walk. Cool. Huh? Pluto then killed Daisy in the hill with the boat. <laughs> with the boat. This, this crime is unsolved. But how could you murder someone when you're already murdered? Yeah, what was that time do, attack do, thing? Do, 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 well, do, I'm about do, to show you. It's basically... It's, it's pretty much what it is. Like, you're literally racing against the clock in this little competition hosted by Goofy. Huh. Hi, Goofy. Hi, folks. That's this not an announcer. Speaking. The moment you have been waiting for. <laughs> Let's begin. Time attack a go-go, baby. <laughs> also, that crowd's pretty because rowdy. Because it's Japan. Yeah. 
Over here, we have today's challenger, Donald Buck. As per usual, this is a big event where you can win a large sum of cash <laughs> by beating the current record holder. Double there. The current <laughs> record holder of one minute is Yui. What? Hmm. what? So we're, we're, we're racing against our own nephew? So now we place our challenger in a fight to the death. Don't and, underestimate me. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. bad. There's no way I'll let someone like Huey best me, even if Ouch. we are relatives. Ouch. That's the spirit, Donald. Our ducks seem to be quite full of confidence. But today, oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and now, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, yeah, by the way, you guys talked over it earlier, but you can press the A button to forfeit if you what? so choose. Whee. It Where is double go? dare. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is something that the game always teaches you through this instance. When you go down slopes, you automatically go into a really fast run, which is actually. Oh, so it is kind of like Magical one. Quest. Uh, kind of, yeah. Only this Oof. one's Ow. a lot more supercharged. It also, honestly, with the dash, it almost reminded me of that Tiny Tombs game we did where, like, you were running up the walls and stuff. Yeah, and imagine yeah. it's exactly like that, only this, only in this case, you it's you don't have to worry about a really obnoxious Ooh. gauge. Ooh, Ooh, hi. Well, gauge it. Nice. Oh, jeez. Nice. Quack, 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 But yeah, do be careful, though, because if you, if you accidentally uh, go into those, um, oh, those uh, pools of water, you'll almost be eaten by sharks, but oh, Donald managed to save, save come himself. On. Oh, does. Come on! Oh my gosh, you have, to be, you have to be so precise! Oh yeah, by the way, there. I'm gonna show this off. Uh, oh, it's right it. there! Almost! Come on! Nye. Oh, the devil damn it! <laughs> it's a little there tense. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. we're relieved now, James. Now continue. <laughs> Sorry, it was tense. If you get a game over, Donald will say, damn it, and, the, and, and, then, the, and then the nephews will start doing the little... Mickey killed Pluto at the sea with the boat. <laughs> Why would Mickey do that? <laughs> it's always with the boat. Oh my god. Now I can buy Daisy's present. Except that was stolen. <gasps> no, it was stolen. Don't you hate it. that? Totally called it. I went through all of that trouble. He just goes nuts and just. Saving money for years. Destroys a city. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But Donald Duck. Yeah. Please tell me that the rest of the game is you hunting down the person that bought it and beating him to a pulp to get it back. <laughs> if you if you mean that by that someone being Pete, yes. And... I, you, <laughs> it, I was gonna make a joke. I was gonna make a joke about how like Pete stole it, but then I was like, no, there's no way they would have done that, and they did it. Well, I will say this much: that's it's actually that's actually not what happens. But Pete is the final boss, and he is involved in the little second plot that happens after this point. But that's for you guys to see for yourselves, because that's the end of our look at on Donald Duck and the Magical Hat. Again, only available on the Super Famicom, so, well, unless you want to go your hardest game and get a translation patch, well, you're going to be about as lost as everyone else that plays this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, no one like Donald Duck. Yep, no one gets yep. stuck with all the bad luck. Thanks, thanks for watching The Great Adventure of Donald Duck, where nothing magical or weird happened the end <laughs> hey guys I want you to be honest with me does this hat accentuate my summer features <laughs> no it does not <laughs>